Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're going to do an update on Avarice today. Um, haven't spoken about this in a couple of days. Um, I decided to change my strategy again. My strategy just keeps evolving on this platform. Uh, because, you know, these are new waters to me. Right? I wasn't a part of T2X. Um, I don't have the previous experience with a platform from this. So I'm a little bit apprehensive um, or I've pulled back my strategy. You know, I was being a little bit more risky and I was going it, I was becoming even more riskier as time was going by. And um, I thought, you know what, let me just change my strategy. At the end of the day, this platform is actually called Greed. Avarice, um, it means greed. So it says in their, um, in their explanation, if we go to the main website, um, let's just go to the main uh, website, avaricetoken.io. So at its core, avarice means greed, right? And I was thinking about that. I was thinking, you know what? You want to avoid being greedy on something like this, okay? In my opinion, all right? Uh, one of the reasons being is, you know, if you keep putting B&B &B in, right? Obviously, this platform is not going to last forever. No platform like this really can last forever, in my opinion, right? So there's going to be a point, just like T2X did, right? Where it stops paying out, right? Um, so... With this, uh, the last thing you want to be doing is going in, like, or being that person on the very last day, or the last week, or the last month, right? Putting on huge stakes, or you know, putting it lots of BNB into the lobby, and then you just find out that this thing's not paying out. Hopefully, by then you would have like made lots of money, uh, lots of money through the auctions anyway. But I'm just saying, right? It's you know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but. You know, with a platform called Greed, I thought, you know, I really need to change my strategy. So what I'm going to be doing now is, because I have some stakes, finally, that I'm going to be able to collect today, right? I'm going to be able to restate those tokens, right? And I was thinking about some of the whales, right? I'm seeing guys going with 170 BNB, 200 BNB, 500 BNB, all those crazy numbers, right? And those guys, when they do that, they're getting huge amounts of tokens to stake, yeah? And if they're staking those for only like seven days, ten days, right? Each, after ten days, not only have they got like a full ROI, you know, where well, it varies, right? It varies because I believe the percentage, the daily percentage that we're getting now is probably down to about 6% rather than 10% what we are getting before because it, it fluctuates based on the amount of BNB that goes into the lobby, right? But those people are going to be able to continuously restate those tokens and, you know, collect even more dividends. And if they don't go in again, or if they're not putting continuously adding more BNB in, they're collecting dividends from the other people that are putting more BNB in, which is, you know, we know how the platform works, right? But, um, yeah, I thought about it and I thought, you know what, maybe my strategy, until at least until I, you know, uh, well, not at least until. So what I want to be doing is I want to be roi right? And then that's just going to take all the risk off the table, okay? Like I said, it's new waters to me. Um, so for me, I'm just going to have to, just kind of go with my own gut and um you know hopefully i should roi soon in fact i put 33.4 bnb in right um that is my overall auction entries okay and technically i have roi'd um because i've got 36.7 bnb in dividends however i cannot collect the 36.7 bnb right until all of these states are over so the amount i can collect today this is going to be my first collection okay um day 17 okay i did 14 day a 14 day stake right here and this is going to be the first one that i collect for 3.37 uh b and b okay and i have another one that ends today on day 17 or once the timer ends at least for 6.67 b and b and then what i can do is i compare those tokens up um what i get back and and i can restate those tokens right and collect even more dividends over time so um the bnb that i'm getting looks like it's going to be at about 10 bnb maybe 11 or 12 uh, once this timer ends i'll be able to pocket that bnb and then restate those tokens and collect more dividends for as long as the platform is surviving now another thing that i know is is that there's been a lot less bnb coming in on a daily basis okay so if you look at the total deposit since the day that i put my biggest deposit in 11 bnb right 
um, the amount of B and B coming into the platform has gone down, right? So since then it was nineteen seventy four on the on the day that I put the eleven in, and since then you can see consistently it's less B and B except for this day, right? Less B and B on a daily basis, and right now the total deposit is four hundred seventy two, and there's only forty six minutes left on this timer. So today could be the best day for you to get in, or it could be the worst day, right? It could be the best day because it could be the lowest amount of BNB that goes in across the platform, okay? Um, since it began, the lowest amount previously is one thousand and thirty. No, it's not. It's one thousand and seven BNB. But since the beginning, it was continuously over a thousand, sixteen hundred, two thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. We had over three thousand at one point. <laughs> But what I can see is this pattern of it going down on a daily basis. Could be because of the bear market and people don't want to, you know, uh, they, they just don't want to buy it and put it in there. Or the other thing could be is that, you know, people, the hype's kind of dying down. And uh, I know uh, there was something that happened um, where they've cancelled the lending, right? You can go and check out the announcement that they made on this who will explain everything about the lending. But the lending is no longer taking place. Um, a good thing is, is they refunded everybody from the lending. So there's a little bit of FUD there. You know, maybe people are getting a bit of cold feet now that they know there was an issue with the contract. But um, the last thing you want to be doing is being stuck without a full ROI. Um, and this contract, you know, is, is not filling up anymore. In theory, people should see the low numbers or the low deposit amounts. Those that are looking to snipe and, um, you know, they should be aping in around this time. Um, or at least before the timer ends, to get a bigger share of Avarice tokens, okay? Um, and as well, you know, this is becoming more scarce every day, right? Because the amount uh, for auction is continuously going down by, I think it's 0.5% every day, right? But um, yeah, I did change my strategy. You know, I'll be happy when I, you know, get something out of the platform because of course it's been two weeks, right? Uh, so this is going to be my first you know, collection in two weeks and um, yeah, I'm going to be able to, you know, either just store that BNB or put it to work somewhere else. But not only that, um, I'm going to be de-risking myself by uh, just restaking my tokens that I get back from the platform. The fact that I went in consistently over the first, I believe it was the first 10 days, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. I went in consistently every day over the first nine days. And then I, I kind of decided to pull back my strategy, okay? And, um, yeah, I think it's going to work out for the better for me in that way. Now, it doesn't benefit me, I'm telling you this, because what would benefit me is saying, look, you need to keep going in, keep going in, and that will keep the platform alive longer. Therefore, every time I stake my to uh, my my, uh, my recycled tokens, I'm going to be continuously collecting more BNB. But what I'd rather say is just take extra caution, okay? And... Get your ROI, right? Get your ROI, and then after that, you can just stake, stake your recycled tokens, right? And then if you want to go in after that, you can then put those dividends back in uh, to create that snowball effect and you know compound that interest and collect more dividends. But at least then you're playing with house money rather than your own initial investment. Get your ROI and then do it like that. So I just wanted to do an update on this. Um, you know, for me, it's 1 a.m. in the morning um, every time this auction ends. So I wanted to get this video in now uh, so I'm not too tired by the time that comes around. And, um, you know, I'm going to collect my b, &B. I'm going to restate my tokens, probably put a big stake on. Um, it, looks like, it looks like I'll have about, we've got about 3,300 tokens there. And then I believe it's another 9,000. Um, so that's about 10, uh, 12,000 tokens. Plus I've got like a thousand over here from referrals you'll notice i got like eight thousand in referrals um thank you everyone for using my link um, my link will be in the description you actually get one percent bonus on top of your tokens and um, if you do decide to go in using my referral link and um no you actually get yeah you get one percent um yeah so it makes sense to use a link but um you know if you'll see some of the other whales out there they've got like like huge numbers here like that's literally nothing but um, it's something to somebody, right? It's something to me, actually, because, you know, let's see if I've got a stake around it. Let's say, for example, this stake, right? 9,000, yeah? That's close to the 8,000. So, in theory, that's around 6.6, .6, uh, around 6 BNB. So, um, 
appreciate the community for that. You know, um, yeah, appreciate you guys for that. I'll leave the link in the description. Just wanted to share share with you my views on this uh, going forward. Um, uh, you know, I'll probably do more updates on this. And obviously, I'm invested in the platform. Still got like quite a few stakes, <laughs> quite a few stakes. You can see I've got 35 day stakes, 65 days. Uh, I've got 300 day stakes, very small ones I put on for the longest. 39 days 44 days 93 days like i'm literally just all over the place with my stakes so i'm not like collecting like every single day in fact the next collective state i'll get will be on day 21 which is four days in four days four to five days time at the time of recording this video so you know um yeah obviously uh i'm going to be keeping my eye on the platform staying in touch with the community and um yeah hopefully it's happy days and this thing can go for long but We'll have to just wait and see, guys. But that being said, it's the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for the notifications, like the video that helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys in the very next one.